So this is going to be part two, continuation from my first video on how to use Google Earth to find gold. I'm going to show you this time how to kind of do some of the overlays and where to get a little bit more information from some of these websites. So starting out, let's go back to uh, mrdata.usgs.gov. What we're going to look at is geology. Now click on geologic maps of the U.S. Now if you scroll down, you can actually download individual files for each state and then you can open those within your Google Earth. But for now, I'm going to show you the web-based version because this way you don't even need Google Earth. You can kind of just do it within the browser. So once that loads, you can zoom in a little bit. We'll let that load, but right off the bat, you can start to notice, here's the San Andreas Fault. This is pretty much Cajon Pass, and then you have the San Gabriel Mountains. So we'll zoom in there. Now each of these different colors represents a different host rock, or a primary and secondary rock, stuff like that. This is actually a pretty cool way to easily identify what kind of rocks are in the area and what kind of geology you're going to be working with. Now on the left hand side, you have different options here. Now this one will tell you what each of these colors represent. I'll show you another website. Let's go to mylandmatters.org. Now once you're on the website here, you go to maps. And on the right hand side, they have quite a few options that you can look at. Make sure you spend some time and kind of go through some of this stuff. A lot of good information here. For now, let's click on geology. Now on the right hand side, you can select which state you would like to look at. Let's do California. Now we can zoom in to the area that we want to look at. Once you zoom in far enough, you'll see that these abbreviations will show up and these give you an idea of what these rocks are. So if you click the eye on the right hand side and select one of these colors, a window pops up that will tell you what the primary and secondary rocks are. Now you can definitely use this the way it is and you can do everything within the web based version. You don't even need to download Google Earth or use any of that. Some of the other features it has is you can tell on the right hand side you can do aerial photos, a topo map, you know, all kinds of different things. I recommend zoom into the area that you want to do and then start selecting these features on the right. Let's try a topo map. Once you select that, you'll want to go and hit refresh. So now it gives you a little slight image beneath that of what the uh, topo map and then going through the geology so this gives you a better idea of where this is actually located because before without the topo map you couldn't really tell what, where the trail was or any of the landmarks or any of the terrain so sometimes enabling this topo is a good idea Okay, at this point, I'm going to show you how to take an actual screenshot of this and then we can add it into Google Earth if we want. Now, with this free based version of Windows that I'm using, it comes with a thing called the snipping tool. So in the bottom left, if you need to search for it, just type in snipping tool. Once the snipping tool opens up, you'll want to go to new and then just select this image that you have on screen. Now it opens up a new window here and you can save it. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to go to Google Earth. Once it's open, 
you want to go up to the top and this button right here, add image overlay. And you can name it whatever you like. Azusa test. Then you want to browse for the image you downloaded. And as you can see, it's going to take a lot of moving around to get this correctly positioned. Now you'll notice some of these green crosses on the edges and corners. Those are what will let you control the image within Google Earth. You can rotate it, you can make it smaller, bigger, whatever you need to do. Now this is the toughest part, is really getting it to line up properly. So what I'm gonna do is you can tell you have your water right here, the reservoir, and then you can see a little bit of the trail. That's the exact same spot right here. Here's the trail and all that. So I'm gonna use this as kind of a reference point. I'm gonna try and line those up. Now you can tell I can't see through this top image. So over here in the options window, you can actually drop the opacity. So we're gonna go a little bit lower. That way we can kind of see through it. Hopefully that'll help us line up down here with the reservoir. I think we can start with that. Probably rotate it a little bit. Now I gotta admit, this is the hardest part. So it'll probably take you a long time. I gotta admit, it, it gets tough, so don't get discouraged. You know, consider this another rainy day project. Now these were a little easier to do simply because it was a little more spread out and it was easier to match up some of these mountains and stuff like that. So some areas are gonna be a little easier than others, but uh, this is pretty much how you do it. You're just gonna add an overlay, select the image you like, and the hardest part is going through and adjusting it so it lines up and matches up the way it should. Some of the easy stuff is some of these mountain peaks where you can match those up pretty easy. So if you don't really want to mess around with putting overlays in Google Earth and kind of stretching and trying to fit them, I gotta admit it is pretty tedious and it's kind of hard to do. Always remember, you can come back to these websites and they have a lot of web-based stuff that you don't even need to download Google Earth. You don't even need that. So you can do everything within the website itself. So I'll show you another cool thing real fast. Let's go back to mylandmatters.org and then go to Maps. And on the right-hand side, this time, let's go to Mining Claims. There's a lot to select here, but for now, let's just go to California Mining Claims. And it's going to load another web-based map. Let's zoom in towards Randsburg and we'll check things out over there. Now this is a way where you can check where different mining claims are and some of the, the boundaries and areas, whether it's BLM land or if you don't know if it's claimed or not, this is a quick, easy way to tell. Now once you zoom in far enough, it'll, it'll start to list out you know, different load mines versus placer. Pretty much the orange ones are gonna be orange, yellow, whatever color it is. It's going to be a placer mine, more or less. The blue ones are going to be more along the load mine side. Now on the right, you can tell this is referencing the BLM LR2000. Let's zoom in a little bit further. And what you can do is come over here to the eye and then select one of these squares. Now what that does is it brings up another window over here. What you'll have to do is click that window in the corner right here and you want to drag it down. Now you can see all the individual mines that are within that square. You'll get a little bit of information on it, but this is a quick easy way to tell if an area has been claimed up or some of the boundaries. Now on the right hand side, if you select land manager, and then refresh. What this does is it kind of gives you a little more representation of some of these claim boundaries. 
Now, I, I haven't really found a way to definitively show some of these, you know, boundaries and what claim is what. But at least with this website, you get a good idea of what's claimed up. Now, this is a pretty popular area, so you can tell there's a lot of weird stuff going on here and a lot of different things. It's hard to tell what's a claim and what's not. You know, so you're either on BLM land or somebody's claim. Because uh, if you come out more towards this way, you can tell there's no claims actually. So this is more or less BLM land and uh, you're a little safer. You won't be claim jumping on anybody. That's all I have for today. I just wanted to make this a quick, easy video. Please subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, let me know how I'm doing on these videos. I'm going to try and keep them coming. Still waiting for the water to come down a little bit in Azusa. Can't wait to get back there and start pulling some gold out. So stay tuned, I'll be throwing some videos up.